So yeah, we're gonna keep on the invention theme. I was introduced to a group of robotics team from the Providence School of Jacksonville Middle School. They're heading to regionals this weekend. We are having fun, that's what we do. And so this is a first Lego League team and we're excited to be here today because we've been uh, working really, really hard and we got the Champions Award a couple weeks ago and we're working towards regionals and these students are learning all about the core values of FIRST, discovery, innovation, impact, inclusion, teamwork and fun and that's what it's all about. It's just about them and they've worked so hard this year and we just wanted to celebrate and share our project that we've done. Robert Holcomb helped launch the robotics program at Providence School of Jacksonville and over the years has helped it grow to nine teams. This middle school team is on its way to regionals. He speaks on the importance of programs like this. It's, it's so, so critical and I think we need to do that more. Uh, they, they joke around with me, they call me the man-child here. They say all I do is play with Lego. Um, but it's more than that, it's, it's learning through play and it's creative thinking. And so my goal is to get them to be problem solvers. And so I give them a problem and they come up with a solution. And a lot of times it is a creative solution that I never would have thought of. And that's what it takes. I think we need to turn education into more of a creative solution scenario where we're learning through play. We're giving them the tools of the future and letting them come up with their own solutions instead of us just saying, hey, this is how you do this. Say, what could you do with this? And that's when we get Rubik's Cube solvers, we get um, Oreo dunking machines. Noted, you won me over with Oreo dunking machines. Now let's get some student insight about their project. Oh, their team name, Robo Stallions, their robot's name, Cheeto Puff. So our project is an energy app for kids that helps them save energy and it will um, help the future by um, just saving energy and um, with money and we found like research that shows that kids are learning harmful energy habits at a young age. And when they grow to be adults, they stick with these habits. So if we can teach them now that um, wasting energy is bad, they grow up to use the same habits and teach their kids that, which will go on for generations. And that is why I never placed during my science comps back in the day. Angelina explains how the team came up with their project. Well, we all gathered together and we picked out, there's four energy journeys, and we picked out a certain energy journey and we decided which ideas would collaborate with this. So we just came up, we draw down a lot of ideas and we all voted and found out that Energy App for Kids was a really good idea. We all voted and we all agreed on it and then we started working towards our board, our research, all of that. With 10 members, the group figured out their lanes on their own. One of the first practices we divided into roles that we thought, well, I would fit better here instead of, like, I would be good at robot instead of researching, like I'm better at coding and things like that. And so if we found that we were helped there, we would stay there and keep doing what we were doing to help the team. And if we didn't feel like we should, we would move around to find our place that we best fit. Um, so mature taking notes. They break down what really goes into the process and the competition aspect of things. There's robot design, which is the board right there. We, we have to add attachments to be able to create the missions or complete the missions. And we have a mission strategy and we complete the missions according to our mission strategy, which would which ultimately will help us save time so that we a can. A part of the um, competition is four parts, which is core values, robot game, robot design, and project. And so on our robot game, we run missions over there. For robot design, we create a board and explain how we made our robot. Because all the robots for every other team are similar, they just have their own attachments and unique changes to them. Sending you good luck and good vibes, Robo Stallions. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So there are actually a few other local school teams that will be at regional, so we're sending love to all of them. So as I always say, support your locals, people, especially the kids. We'll have more River City Live right after this.